Rational is two. Formed architecture is essentially rational. In rational thought, thought should, be should be followed, followed, followed absolutely, absolutely and equally. If words are used and they proceed from ideas about art, then they are art and not literature. Numbers are not mathematics. All ideas are architecture if they are concerned with architecture and fall within the conventions of architecture. Successful symbolic changes our understanding of the conventions by altering our perceptions. Perception, Perception is subjective. subjective. The smuggling may not unnecessarily understand his own smuggling. An architect may perceive the architecture as better than his own. There are many elements involved in a work of art. The most important are the most obvious. And there are ideas cannot, cannot be analyzed by, by the people When on smuggling learning his craft too well, he makes a sleep smuggling. These sentences comment on architecture, but are not architecture. Welcome to uh, Diploma 7. Uh, my name is Samantha Hardingham. This is David Green. Um, we're going to... Um, well, I should say that collectively, between us, there are 120 years of existence on this planet, um, 80 of which have been in and around the AA, so watch out, is my advice to you. Um, we're going to be making a very short presentation. It's been a very long day, and I expect you're all half... Well, you won't be half asleep, but uh, it will be exactly 14 and a half minutes long uh, with one or two interruptions by ourselves. Um, we appeal to the pioneering spirit in all of you. Uh, when asked in interviews why students want to come to the AA, the most frequent answer, and this is a fact, is because I want to be able to experiment. Uh, to experiment literally means a course of action tentatively adopted without being sure of the outcome. Is that what you think you meant when you said you wanted to experiment? If it is, then the AA has the chance to maintain its reputation as a truly unique school of architecture. If not, we are just another face in an ever-growing crowd. <laughs> With that in mind, we welcome you to the Department of Not Usually Valued Knowledge. Uh, I'll explain what that might mean later. The unit essentially is a non-unit, more of a zone, pursuing its central interest in an architecture that is conditioned by the processes and technologies of search and retrieval. We really do mean search and not research. That comes later or as we have come to know it, the rigorous pursuit of approximation. The zone speculates on the architectural consequences of today's nature of continuous mm -hmm. ventilation and circulation of information, a territory we call new nature. This is our world. Please do not turn off your mobile. What you are watching now are glimpses of what that world was as explored by some of last year's students. The architecture of the new nature evolves from a culture whose dominant more raw materials lie outside the visible spectrum. Digital anthropology meets the sublime, sublime Anthropocene, the points where the very light meets the very heavy, the very small meets the very large, and the very fast meets the very slow. Some of the emerging characteristics of new nature include the observation of landscape in its broadest sense, from political to environmental to domestic, of human behaviors, domestic life and its adaptions in relation to new communications technologies, and of the technologies of approximation, i.e. those that are capable of being adaptive and responsive of learning new uses for old technologies and unlikely uses for new ones. In this respect, the technical study is no isolated exercise, but an integral part of the project work from the outset. We're interested in architecture as the byproduct of a continuum of design paradoxes. We look for time-based design responses that work with a collision between the subsurface components of land, earth, environment and the ultra surfaces of smaller lighter faster technologies of information and construction aiming at the precise design of approximation we delight in working with these paradoxes 
<clears throat> um, Award-winning novelist Hilary Mantel, in a recent interview, said of the process of writing, the more you're suffering, the better it's likely to be on the page. Make sure you suffer adequately until you quiver with fatigue. She also said stories should deprive you of your certainties. It is for so many artists, her step, her work is the step into the unknown. We would assert that that turbulence is the fire that fuels the imagination and we will provide that turbulence as well as the fire extinguisher if that things get out of control. Now for something on the way of working in the zone. Um, film as sketchbook is central to the unit as the means of both documentation and articulation of an idea, which in turn will inform the making of moving drawings. The precise means for searching and designing the ongoing systems of an idea. Neither of these techniques require any previous experience of working with the medium of moving image, but does require a desire to learn, the courage to make mistakes, and the ability to notice what a mistake might be a design opportunity. We wish for each student to develop their own aesthetic techniques and behaviors, and meet that with multiple tutoring and collaborations with a wide range of expert guests. This year, we will meet with several artists, architects and geographers, an environmental scientist, a social scientist, and an historian. We will have seminars on the outer wilderness and the inner wilderness with architectural historian Irénée Scalbert on instrumenting the earth um, at a conference with the, British, with the British Geological Society, on land art with artist Bruce McLean, on angry gardens with pioneer in evolutionary digital design John Fraser, on the, saving of, uh, on the science of saving Venice with environmental scientist Jane de Moster, and how to build the fastest sailboat in the world with America's Cup technical team member and former unit, unit student, Giulio Batelli, amongst others. Students are invited to respond to a series of provocations. They are all included in the collage that appears in the prospectus. Uh, each one is concerned with a time-based architectural order, and we ask you to th rethink them in the light of now. Then you will each design, build, and edit your own bill of quantities to include technical and cultural components with consideration to time, form, and behavior. Right, uh, this is by way of a small, uh, small interruption, um, which is a small section from novel by Ian Banks called The Algebraist, a science fiction novel. And uh, he, it's kind of replete with metaphor. In this short paragraph, I, I haven't counted the number of times he used, it's a bit like, uh, with the word like, but quite a lot. So, uh, the reason we mention metaphor is it's a kind of work, uh, strategy which we try to encourage within the unit. On the far side of the river, there was a massive dark wall rising sheer and jet from the waters. Its summit was crowned with crenellations and gun turrets. Further guns poked out of gun ports distributed in, in, distributed in staggered lines over the whole quarter of the huge wall, making it look like the, tide, the side sorry, of some ancient sea ship. Only the biggest and most preposterously, preposterously long one there had ever been. Its vast hull diminished into the distance. The guns were not static, but moved in sequence in waves of what appeared almost like locomotion, making the exposed barrels look like oddly, like ineffectual oars, or some colossally misdesigned trimarine, or an impossible upended uh, millipede. I quite like the idea of a building that looks like an upended millipede. Things you need to know. Uh, we are enthusiasts for all things that have the character of their time. We're not interested in solutions, more in responses. We uphold the right for architecture to retain a sense of humor. We work to a timeline for the year that is perceived to be more open than some, and it is, and we require, we require it to be so. We believe that doubt is an essential tool in the designer's mind kit. To be doubtful means to be able to delay certain, but not all, decision-making in order to keep one's design possibilities open. 
to maximize the scope of knowledge around a given subject, to be able to make connections between things that were previously unconnected. Going all right time. Mm -hmm. So, Waha, Department of uh, Not Usually Valued Knowledge, knowledge I'm forgetting what my department is. I uh, won't do. Uh, so, um, it's small. It's small things, and the thing that I came across uh, the other day, you are familiar with this, this beautiful little object. Hmm? It's the aerial three-in-one wash pod. Hmm? It's beautifully made, and I often wonder how it, how it was made. Anyway, I was idly Googling, as one does, and wondering what Zaha was doing these days, so I Googled Zaha, well, and of course get Wilfred Zaha, the footballer. Eventually, scrolling through the images of him, I come to this and this, you see? And I thought, maybe Zaha, when she's doing her washing, looked at this and thought, ah, there's a cultural center in Beijing or uh, an embassy. <laughs> so, it doesn't really matter where it is or what it is. Anyway, so there's something that I think has some immense architectural possibilities, so Zahar and I probably agree, right? <laughs> And then there's a small still life after Monet, tomatoes and bread with wine and three-in-one thing. In case you can't see what it's like and you don't know what it is. <laughs> Not if you've got a sweaty palm. Not usually valued models, you may say. <laughs> I don't know. You may send a good job too. <laughs> okay, to this year. Um, in this context and with these tools that we will search um, for the new nature properties of two island habitats, Wallasey Island, Essex, and Venice, Italy. What you will see in the following images are a mix of how these two islands have been made and or are being preserved, moments when the vicinities of subsurface and ultrasurface begin to overlap. Wallasey Island is a largely a new island, the byproduct of London's crossrail, the tunnel that stretches from Reading in West London over to Brentwood in Essex, and currently the largest civil engineering project in Europe, a discontinuous city of 10,000 citizens. The island is presently ha inhabited uh, only by birds, and you can only visit by boat. The east coastal area of Essex is a mix of salt marsh and mud flats, with tidal creeks all highly susceptible to flooding due to changes over the years in agricultural practices. The remaking of salt marsh land is the most recent response for the preservation of the coastline. The island sits adjacent to the coastal town of Burnham on Crouch, about an hour from London by train, and the home of the Corinthian Yacht Club, designed in 1931 uh, by Joseph Emberton, uh, and um, the lagoon and islands of Venice will also serve as a parallel study, um, island as a byproduct of a mercantile system. And we will carry out a short project on the Arsenale Nord area, uh, which is sub subject to rejuvenation currently. We'll be there as a participating team, in fact the last team, to work in the Swiss Pavilion Summer School, here's the pavilion, uh, the School of Tomorrow, um, which exhibits both the work of Cedric Price and Lucius Burkhart. Uh, so that will be our studio, this will be some of your resource material, and we will thankfully have narrowly missed the crowds. So, this is the department of not usually valued knowledge. Nothing is excluded and everything is questioned. Thank you very much.